Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at the Scorpio male and the Virgo female. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this connection. Ooh, I think I see a relationship going sour. I'm kidding. Looks great. I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, all right, when I look at you, Scorpio male, I'm starting to wonder. I feel like you might have some control issues. Mm. I see this as a time of confusion for you, all right? I feel like when it comes to your relationship with the Virgo female, you're not sure if you're putting it on too thick or not. Like, I'm not sure if I'm doing enough. I can't read you. I don't know, I don't know if I'm coming or going, all right? I feel like in this connection, there are some firm decisions that need to be made. I feel like one is a little bit more powerful and certain aspects or dynamics of the situation or the relationship. Um, so I feel like one could be really strong with money. The other one could be really strong with support and emotion. And I feel like, you know, I feel like there's somebody here, Scorpio male. I, I don't know. I just feel like you might be a little controlling here. I do see that there's some kind of a new lifestyle. So you're supposed to make this firm decision, right? Firm decisions. And what we see here is there's some new lifestyle. There's something where you're stepping into the spotlight. Some of you guys might be doing something uh, that could be even newsworthy, right? Maybe you guys are helping people. There's something that it, it could be public or something like that, all right? So there's some significant achievement that the Scorpio male is, uh, I guess, going or having or there's something that you're doing, something you've accomplished. I think that's a better way to finish it. So I think you guys did accomplish something, but I think this might be getting in the way when you're Virgo female, all right. See, to an extent, I feel like the Scorpio male kind of expects the Virgo female to just be there through it all, which is that's cool. But I feel like there needs to be some equal give and take here because I feel like the Scorpio male can be a little bit controlling. All right. The decisions that he makes influence you. And for some reason, I feel like there's this manipulation where the Scorpio male has this ability to control your schedule. So I feel like this is somebody that might be in a spotlight, could be an artist, musician, a poet, somebody in the public eye or something like that. I think that we have a Virgo female somewhere who's uh, working around the schedule. So ultimately giving Scorpio male control is just a real nice finessed way of covering it up, putting a bow on it. I control you. All right. So some of you guys, this person, this Scorpio male wants to control your affairs. He wants to control it all. Right, but the thing is, with Scorpio male in the Scorpio male in this relationship, I say, is doing it for selfish reasons. All right, so this one's switching up. I feel like, but why are you switching up? All right, I feel like because it's a time of confusion. I feel like Scorpio's not sure where they stand with the Virgo female. This is why Scorpio's continuing on with whatever it is they're doing, and they're not going to stop because they don't necessarily feel secure with you either. All right, now. <sighs> Let's take a look and see what else is going on. Now, with the Virgo female, I see here that you might have the upper hand over a situation, so I think you have something on him. That's what I feel about it. I feel like with you guys, there's going to be some kind of different way of doing things. I think you guys are going to have to move a little bit different, all right? Because I feel like you guys have been moving at a fast pace. I don't know if you're trying to keep up with Scorpio or trying to outdo Scorpio. I don't know what this is. But I feel like you guys are not giving yourselves the rest that you need. All right. I feel like there's some decisions that need to be made here. Now, when I see the Seven of Swords, it talks about some kind of theft or betrayal or coming out of that feeling where you feel like this new lifestyle may cause some major interruption in this relationship. That's what the Virgo female is like. Something happened here where we were just real, real cool. Everything was great. And then, you know, I don't know, you know, maybe there was some new business partners or something like that that kind of um, had Scorpio... I don't want to say acting different, but it was just not typical. But I feel like Scorpio is trying to achieve something that may be different from them. That means Scorpio is going to have to do some different things. But I feel like Virgo, the female, might be trying to keep up because she's not giving herself the rest that she needs. And she's kind of disappointed in something. When we see the Queen of Cups here, that's when we kind of see the relationship has gone sour here. Now, if I were to go back and compare these two cards, I say that the Scorpio male is trying to uh, control you. All right, and it's control is for their own reasons. I mean, it could just be selfish love. Like, I'm so selfishly in love with you, whatever, whenever I can, I just want to, and we need to be together, and you know, all that stuff, right? But then you have the relationship going sours, where you guys have issues expressing emotions. 
So Virgo, maybe overall you're not used to expressing emotions, right? So maybe you haven't told Scorpio how you feel about the demanding type of nature that they have or the controlling, demanding, whatever that they have over you. It's just, it's a lot. And I see it here. One thing I do see common energies with you guys. I think both you guys are looking for the right balance. All right. I don't want to make Scorpio male look like the, the, the bad guy here, but I think Scorpio male is reacting to something that is different in this situation. Now, remember, now we're going to go back to this because we have the Virgo female. The Virgo female does have an upper hand in the situation. All right. So this is some energy where possibly maybe there's some arguments. Maybe there was some fights. Maybe I got something on you. It could be something as simple as that. But again, I think that the Scorpio female is holding something over Scorpio male's head. I can walk away. If I walk away, I take this house with me. Oof. Mm. So I kind of feel like you got it like that. But I feel like you're not giving yourself the rest. Either you guys are, are constantly looking and seeing what's going on or seeing what Scorpio is doing. You guys need to rest because I feel like there is none because you're trying to keep up with this new lifestyle. I feel like you're that afraid and somebody can't even have like new adventures without you around. I don't know how much trust is there. I, I don't know, but I feel like there's an element of mistrust in this relationship. And I also feel like the relationship is going sour according to one of you guys, but there are a lot of emotions that need to be dealt with. And I think you guys need to express what it is you feel for each other and everything that you might be afraid about. All right, because I do see one thing I will say about Scorpio male is they don't know where they stand with you. All right, and I do see, you know, I see air energy. It's a lot of, it's, it's not necessarily bad, but coming out of an energy. All right, maybe getting back to the way I want to feel. I feel like both you guys want this balance. I think you guys kind of, you want to have this life together. I think there's certain things that you guys are trying to achieve, but I feel like there's uh, so many different things, so many different disruptions. They may not necessarily be bad disruptions, but they are disruptions, things that make you feel uncomfortable. So that's what you're trying to work on and gain balance. Let's see. You know what? Before I do that, let me see what else we have because only goodness knows what else could come out. I'm going to pull these. This is just an impromptu reading. Scorpio male, Virgo feel like I've been saying it the whole reading. All right, I'm shuffling these guys. What messages? What's the common energy between this couple? Ooh. Ooh, I'm glad you didn't see that. <laughs> What's the common energy with this couple? Show me love for this couple, Scorpio male and Virgo female, please. Give me the energy for this couple. Give me the energy for this couple, please. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Hmm. That's interesting. Knight of Pentacles. Reliable, hardworking. One more. Attraction. You attract romantic... Okay. Uh -huh. Very soon. Uh -huh. You need to clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Mm. Unrequited love. Okay. Hmm. Let's look at this. Keep an open mind. Very soon I need to make a decision. Attraction. You attract romantic love by just doing you. Hmm. I feel like with Scorpio male, with you, it's kind of like... I don't know what's going on in this connection. I can't figure it out. I feel like if I push too hard, they get mad. If I don't push hard enough, they get mad. It's kind of like, um, darned if I do and darned if I don't. That kind of a situation. So I don't know where I stand. I don't know where I stand with you because I feel like with Scorpios, things tend to be compartmentalized. Like, yeah, I might be paralyzed in this one area, but that doesn't mean I have to not give it a go in another area. So I do think when it looks unrequited love, I don't know how you feel about me. I feel like I love you a lot, but when I give you that love, you reject me. So I feel like there's some rejection here, but I also feel like somebody may have done something. So Virgo, you could have done something too, well, however this resonates for you guys. But I feel like you guys are basically keeping your options open. That's what I'm getting, unrequited love. I feel like you guys are questioning, does this one really love me? Like, the amount of love, why are you guys questioning it? Because there's no communication. That's, you know, pretty obvious down here. 
So I feel like you guys, I don't know, let me pull one more. I'm, I'm just, I want to, just out of curiosity, I would love to see heart to heart conversations because I feel like there is so much confusion here. Should I go out with somebody else? Should I try and find somebody else? Attraction. How can I meet new people? Very soon. I need to make a decision whether or not I'm going to continue to invest, invest in something that is giving me no return. But you don't know that because you guys aren't talking. But I can tell you, even whether this is subconscious or conscious, both of you guys want balance. Give me one more for love, please. One more for love, please. Give your relationship a chance. You know what I thought? I thought it was going to be heart-to-heart -heart conversations, but I'm not surprised at this one. Work on your partnership. To me, that's what it looks like you're doing. We're just going to take a look and see if there's any more advice. Any more advice. I'm going to use these or these or whatever. And I'm trying. Let's see. These, these suckers, they are uh, something else to shuffle. So I'm not really going to do the little light 50 times shuffle. Like the little light feather. <laughs> Always do before I can see that one was better. Let's see what messages. Give me a message for our Scorpio, please. The Scorpio male. Give me a message for Scorpio male, please. What does he need to focus on? Scorpio male. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun again to remember how love is the greatest healer. Let me read that again because that was just wait. How about I have something to drink first? <clears throat> Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys are trying to handle a situation differently. You don't know if somebody loves you. If you guys don't talk to each other, I mean, come on, have a conversation. I'm surprised that didn't come up. But work on your partnership did. And I think some of you guys are thinking about that. The funny thing is, if you notice under love here, that was the only one that came out reversed. Give your relationship a chance. I think you guys are all just in your head so convinced. Oh, they don't love me like I love them. I'm trying to keep an open mind. This one broke my heart. So I'm never going to go out with somebody who, uh, I don't know, tells jokes ever again. I'm not going to go out with somebody who wears red socks ever again. You're doing all this planning. And what you need to be doing is just kind of giving your relationship a chance. Let's try having a conversation about that. Just saying. All right. Give me one more. Give me one for Virgo female, please. Give me one for the Virgo female, please. One for the Virgo female. Okay, hold on. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. Now, didn't we get playful somewhere? Playfulness? I saw it somewhere. Where, where was it? Because that's actually, yep, keep an open mind, attraction, unrequited love, very soon, attraction, but I, I thought I saw playful somewhere. Somebody had playful you? Anyway, yeah, maybe that was another reading. Anyway, let's see. Now, let me just see collectively what you guys will, you know, your common energy, what you need to focus on. Give me common energy, please. Ooh, ooh, ooh. twin flames. Your passion ignites. Mm, mm, mm. That's what I'm talking about. Yay, yay. All right, let's see if we have any other cards we need to pull. No communication. I could do those, but um, do I have any other cards with messages that are not too far away or hard to get? Because I feel like that the reason why I think I want to do it for this couple is because there's like not a lot of communication. You guys could be on your way to ending something it doesn't need to end simply because you don't know how each other feels but i feel like there's a lot of passion there i'm looking for the cards guys i'm looking let's see oh uh, where are they you know what's funny i just saw them too oh here they are okay all right i'm gonna pull a couple of these for you right, let me let me let me wave these really quick because you know if you don't then the screen will turn all types of different like blurry yeah so let's see <sighs> what does a Scorpio male want his Virgo female to know I want the truth Scorpio Scorpio uh, 
I don't think you hold back, so give me the truth. How do you feel? What do you have to say to her? Ooh! Okay. You effed up. And that's probably why she's looking at you sideways, because she has something over you. You did something. Just saying. We kind of knew that, though, right? All right. Let's see. Give me a message from, I mean, Scorpio's admitting that they effed up. Okay, so let's see, uh, Scorp Virgo, what do you have to say? I am confused. I'm coming out of confusion. I think they're coming out of this energy. I feel like the Virgo female is coming out of this energy because they can't understand why you were doing whatever it is you were doing. Like, why would you do that? I still don't get it. These cards do talk about confusion. The first card for Scorpio alone is the Seven of Wands. This is a time of confusion. All right? It's confusion because of something that you did. That's what it looks like. I'm just saying. Whew. All right. Now, I'm going to pull. I think we already pulled message cards, but what I am going to do is just pull a quick fairy card. I did something. I'm going to pull these. Just a couple. Give me a couple of cards, please. What can this couple do? I should have had another deck. What can this couple do to maintain some kind of harmony? They are, the funny thing is, everything, you guys are considering everything else. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to walk out there and keep an open mind. The next one I get, the hair's going to be green. Yep, I'm going to try, yep, mm-hmm, Auburn, yep, that's what I'm going to do. All of this planning, it looks like you ain't going nowhere. I don't, I don't know. But you might. If you guys do decide to exit this relationship, it's because you just... Didn't open your mouth to each other. Maybe you could, well, telling people all this stuff, but... Mm. Hope. Even the hope card is reversed. Hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. Mm -hmm. I don't see y'all breaking up. Oh, whatever that was. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you. Just wanted to do a little reading on the relationship between... Who is this again? The Scorpio male and the Virgo female. Guys, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Love ya.